right, ladies and gentlemen, bienvenue. We'll continue in a sporty manner. Didier Deschamps is standing at my right, the current trainer of the French national football team, the L'Equipe Tricolore, and there is the Equipe Tricolore behind us. Please welcome him. Now, we will discuss this very briefly. I'll translate as best I can to keep things simple. And I'd like to ask him how he succeeded as a player in 1998 to become the world champion. In 2000, he became the European champion. Then there was a difficult phase for his team and he's brought them back to the world's top teams. We've all seen that. It's always difficult to win at this level, and this particularly applies to the international level. But the French football team is a very young team, but works with determination, with excellent mental approaches. We are very ambitious, and we have a lot of um, success in that. We just saw how difficult it is to be successful at this level, but he is working with a young team, very committed, very successful. Justi Brazil developed the young players very successfully. How do you see the partnership between Volkswagen and the French Equipe Tricolore football team? Well, it's a partner for football, soccer, at world-class level, and I believe we share common values. We work as a team and we have a lot of passion in working. Right, I asked him about the partnership between Volkswagen and the French national team. He spoke about team teamwork for success, and this is really in line the Volkswagen spirit and the French national team spirit. Looking at the future in 2016, there will be the football championship in France. W will there be a revanche game, a back game for the French football team? I was asking about the getting their own back at us in football. It will be a great moment to meet the German football team for the world championship here, this great team in at the world championship 2016 in France, and I hope that we will meet at a very late point in the championship. Well, his approach was very elegant. He said we were uh, the um, team which people um, expected to be successful. Will we meet in the finals? Well, I hope so. Thank you very much for joining me. Please do take a seat. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, Volkswagen and soccer is a traditional thing which has grown with success, which is in line with our brand and part of our history, which makes us unique. With the Passat, we have another world premier, if you've kept counting. This brings us to number four, and that stands for three letters, GTE. Right, ladies and gentlemen, the Passat GTE, the third plug-in hybrid at Volkswagen. After the Excel 1, our efficiency miracle with only 0.8 liters fuel consumption per 100 kilometer, the successful Golf GTE, and now the Passat GTE, which comes out at the same time as a sedan and as the Estate. It unites ecological driving with driving pleasure. Every time you operate in addition to the 150 kilowatts combustion engine, you add the electric drive, 
you have a boost for accelerating the vehicle, and this way we create excellent driving properties with less than 80 seconds, which takes you to 100, 220 kilometers per hour top speed with a excellent consumption of 1.6 liters per 100 kilometers, only 37 uh, grams per kilometer CO2 emissions. The vehicle has three exemplary properties. It unites three things. One thing is the properties of an electric drive vehicle, the silent gliding, the performance and acceleration of an electric car at a range of up to 50 kilometer with the electric drive only. The second is the convenient long-range sedan with a range, total range of more than a thousand kilometers. And the third thing is that it's a Drew GT, Gran Turismo car. If both drive shafts put the torque on the wheels at the same time to give you excellent acceleration. The Passat GTE is not the only thing that is characterized by particular efficiency and dynamism. I'd like to present a unique sports car, a sports car that is another world novelty but see for yourselves.